Welcome everyone to CRS Labs. I'm Stuart. Uh, I, we're here playing Stellaris today. We've got Cody and Ryan with us. How's it going? Yo! Uh, we're going to play uh, multiplayer of Stellaris. Uh, I am playing a Feudal Empire. Uh, I'm I, playing a Technocracy. I am playing a private military mega corporation. Well, that can't possibly. <laughs> this is gonna be quite an interesting game. <laughs> Stellar dynamics. We <laughs> keep your system safe. Well, I'm sure I'll be purchasing your your services at some point. Um, I do recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and begin. Uh, let's see. All right. Physics right off the bat. I'm Physics. good, I think. Society right off the bat and engineering right off the bat. Fantastic. Um, how's the stream, guys? Is it, uh... Looking fan dabby dozy. Okay, looks good. Okay. Got that. Nice. Okay. I have a really nice setup that very defensive constellation. We're at in the galaxy. Are, are you still? Um, I am in what would be a, uh, about 11 o'clock in the middle. Stu, I'm just to your right. Don't worry. Nice. Um, uh, Stu, can you zoom in just a little bit and then scroll up and to the left? Up and to the left. Yep. You see that veil? Yeah. That's me. I'm like I'm like two jumps from that. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, this will be fantastic then, because then I can spread. Oh, I'm looking forward to playing this this style. Uh, let's go ahead and. Get I have like a nice little cluster here. I think is gonna work for doing like a, a little tall corp build. Uh, that I am. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, play this. Um, why is it not playing? Is it playing? There we go. Oh, you may want to real quick check OBS there. It looks like your st the Stellaris part of your recording is like slightly to the right. Like you got clicked and dragged over a little bit. It's like uh, the right side of the screen's cut off a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, I you, sh you should just be able to click on it and drag it over to the left inside OBS. Ah, uh, that's right. Uh, uh, I can't wait. Tomorrow I'm getting my second uh, monitor. Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, you you just have to get that set up, right? Yeah. yeah that, okay. There you go. I think that's. Yeah. I think you fixed it. We'll see when Stellars comes back okay. up. But yeah, that is much better. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Um, are we fine with putting it up to fast? Uh yeah. Let's get this rolling. Oh. You're already. In Somebody trouble. got a continental world and an ocean world on their first survey attempt. Nice. I have a Not that I really need that many. I'll be like all these planets trying to play tall, but we may not be alone out here. Uh oh. Construction complete. Yeah, I was say, I probably don't have. I do have a, a twenty-four desert planet in my neighboring system. <laughs> So have you all thought about the sort of ascension paths you're going to want to take? Um, I certainly think I'm going to take the one, my 
my first one will be the, the one that increases my administrative cap. It mm. used to be the one that increased your research, but overall, you could you could get more more out of <coughs> that one. I might end up getting both. The technology, I forget uh, what the name of it is. It's been a while since I played Stellaris. So. I'm uh, I'm going to do heavy into the star bases. My whole thing is going to be controlling sector, lanes, strategic choke points, and basically playing defensively a war of attrition. Space Maginot line? Basically. So, so we... Excellent, we have our Space France. <laughs> We're truly going to win. Actually, that, that is a good way to play. Um, the, the stations in this game can get pretty nuts. Mm. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm still sorting out what I'm going to do. I, I think I'm going to go the Colossus route. I mean, okay. I most definitely am. I think is there is there new stuff with this two three patch in? Um, there are I there, there are a few. Uh, I think there might be a new mat uh, materials one. And I know they had it before, but I think they oh. have redone it. There's a universal transactions thing that might have been from the prior DLC though. Uh, commercial packs no longer cost influence to maintain. Oh, I might have to pick that up. I might have to be one. Ooh, first tradition. I'll go ahead and go with discovery. That's typically my go-to. Oh, the city world thing. Maybe I, I might. Go, maybe I'll go that oh, route. The, the arcology project. Oh yeah. Yeah, that might. That, I think that'd probably be good for a uh, mega corp to do. Oh yeah. Solitaries star system. That's uh, what kind of star system do, do you guys have? Uh, I have a trinary. Nice. Uh, I chose that a random trinary in my build. I I just think they're very fun to start in. Oh yeah. <coughs> yeah, I've randomly started in them before. They were that was really cool. <laughs> All right. First, I'm in a unary system where I'm the moon of a gas giant. Is my home world. Oh, nice. Nice. Let's see where. Uh, my <laughs> my home planet is also the moon of a gas giant. I need to lock this. I think I need a new science ship. Maybe I'll send one just sort of in your direction or something. You gotta start yeah. selling my wares. <laughs> Need me some branch offices. Uh, how do those work? Go ahead and explain for. Oh yeah, so the way the way that goes go is uh, we form. Uh, so I'm not a criminal corporation, so we have to form an agreement, uh, commercial pact. And then once we have that, um, what it lets me do is I can spend some influence and energy credits and I get to open a branch office, which basically means that uh, I get to build extra buildings on your planet. Okay. Um, you get some benefit from those buildings and I get some benefit from the buildings. It's like a shared thing. Okay. It's nice because okay. um, it's buildings you wouldn't get otherwise. They're like bonus. But it's based on your on the population. So kind of like each time you get a new building slot... I'll get one probably for the branch office, or it might be staggered, but okay. yeah. Nice. So it's kind of a win-win, uh, with especially at least with folks that you're friendly with. Hopefully there's nothing in the way. 
I don't remember all the details about which buildings do what for you versus me. Um, but we'll see uh, when I open a branch office. I think in the early to mid game, I'll probably be trying to do a lot of research in branch offices to kind of help increase from just the base stuff I've got. I'm excited to uh, make contact with you guys. Let's see if I remember. Yeah, F1. Situation log anomalies. Nothing yet. Um, I have a science ship nearby. Anomaly found. I always like to leave the uh, leave the different anomalies uh, leave them go for now because just exploration is so important early game <laughs> oh yeah I, I do the same thing I, I eventually end up building usually ends up being like my third science ship that I build I just dedicate to doing the ones that I left behind um, which is nice because it builds up experience fast too. Doing that, but yeah, you gotta you gotta uncover the systems around you in the early the game. That is yeah, for sure. Exactly. At the very least, your your constellation. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, Cody. I don't think I asked you where where you are in the galaxy. I'm just towards the right. Oh. Okay. So it's. Oh, that, actually, that's probably going to work out nice for me. You both are kind of further into the center, and I'm um, just how, out well, to the outer edge from you both. Uh, let's go ahead and explore there. I think she's done. Let's check out my... Well, Situation that's nice. Log. My first colony world will likely be a 21 size planet. Although I'm thinking about having my first. Oh, planet. is that 21? I see. Yes. Not not yeah. too bad. Uh, that'll be in my home system. I'm excited to find one nearby and make a a vassal. I guess I should start messing about with my fleet stuff. So just be a Corvette fleet. Are you fleet. in the system to my right? Uh, no, I'm just general. I'm like to, a little bit to the left of the Tyla Nock expanse. Oh, okay, cool. Like actually, right where you're exploring right now, that middle, System's that middle server. point on the yellow waypoint, that's my homeworld. Um, where now? Right oh, where your okay. ship is okay. right now. Sweet. Uh, 
found you. Let's uh, get this set up. Lose your lifespan. Nice. Increase them. Let's see what my world, what my population looks like. I should have a second species. Yep, turtle people. <laughs> Man, I have a, a lot of that. System survey complete. I did not get so lucky with my two ha like guaranteed habitable worlds. I got like a size 13 and a size 11. Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah, I have another system that has two Tundra worlds in it. Um, but they're both the 13. <laughs> Strategic resource discovered. Oh, I discovered his row. Oh, I need... Uh... I met one of the Fallen Empires. Really? Nice. They are just south of me. Well, it's a good thing I didn't want to expand that way. So there, uh, we have a the militarist Fallen Empire right in our neighborhood. Oh, okay. Well. That's going to be a, an interesting thing for us to deal with later. Yeah, especially with you being the... Sweet. I guess my mission in this game now is to become better militarist than them, right? I guess that's how that would, that works. Yeah. Yeah, we've found your rivals. One day. <laughs> One day their systems will be safe too. <laughs> Definitely get that unity increase going. Automatically. And automatic exploration going. Ooh. Energy is not looking good. Okay. I guess the one advantage to this, though, Stu, is that I, uh, I definitely know a border that I don't have to worry about for a while. Because it's like a, they definitely have a choke point, and there's no way for me to go f south from it. In fact, uh, it, that may limit uh, one of my paths to get to you, too. In fact, I'm, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to go like this long way, probably. Um, I'm not sure where you're at. Although they seem to be letting me through their... Have they... Oh, no, they have closed their borders oh, to me. What a great place for an abandoned gateway. Right at my choke point. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, uh, that's right. How am I doing on amenities? Oh. Right. Let's uh, help that out a little bit. In summary, I need to build more jobs. Anomaly found. Construction complete. Yeah, I'll go ahead. So that, that might be you. It might be the beta alien. The 
Look at these kitty cat people. System survey. Yeah, you gotta be careful about them. They'll be like, rub my belly. No, we're more of a don't ask us about our don't ask us about. Don't ask you about your what? Don't ask me about my technology. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's not at all disconcerting. <laughs> Makes it sound like there's some weird secret about it. Oh. Nope, we just don't share our tech. <laughs> it's not for you. <laughs>